Hey, good morning everybody. It's your video tipster of the week. This one we're going to cover question and answer on LinkedIn. This is an area of LinkedIn a lot of people don't know about and don't use, but it's a fantastic way to establish yourself as a brand expert in the area of your expertise. If you like what you learned today, please go to facebook.com forward slash springboardworks and become a fan on Facebook or connect with me on linkedin.com forward slash in forward slash Shelley Roth. So let's go ahead and jump onto LinkedIn. And as you can see, I'm on my home page. There are several ways to get to Q&A. Probably the easiest way is to go to the top menu bar, drop down the More button, and there you'll see Answers. So I'm going to click on Answers, and it's going to take me to a section of LinkedIn that has four more tabs. Answers Home, Advanced Answers, My Q&A, Questions That I've Asked and Answered, Ask a Question, Answer Questions. So familiar, familiarize yourself with all of these when you go in here. Um, the first place I'm going to take you is my Q&A. It'll be easier to explain how this goes. So the last question I asked was 11 days ago, and it was, anybody have a good alternative to SlideShare? SlideShare started charging for their service, so I was looking for a good place to find an answer. And by the way, fantastic place if you're stuck and you Google stuff or you're, you feel like you really need help, ask a question on LinkedIn and you'll be amazed by how many people will reach out and answer for you and help you. Here's another question I'll open. This was on copyright law. I asked a question. And this particular question was closed. Questions closed after seven days. But you'll notice that I had several answers. And you'll see that you'll, my connections will be either number one, number two, number three, for degrees of separation for me. But what's important here is you can go in and actually rate the answers based on what you get. And you, not only that, you're going to make a bunch of new connections. So if you're looking to make new connections, position a question that's going to bring those people to you. Now Joseph, I selected as best answer. I did not know him before I asked this question. And I put him as best answer. This was selected as best answer. So once you ask a question, you can go back in and rate the answer. So I encourage you all to go to the Answers Home section where you'd start. And you go in and search. Go look around at new questions from people in your network. So you can see all two degrees. The top experts this week, there's, believe it or not, these folks answered 552 questions, 445. Because obviously, it's working for them. They're getting business. Dave, who, who I got to know um, through Q&A, answered 338 questions. You can search under various categories like administration, health, business, and travel, etc. Or you can just go in and go to the advanced search button and ask what you will. So for example, if I put in social media, I want to look at answers in social media. You'll see what comes up are all questions, questions that are open. And then I can become, start answering those questions if I had the time and, uh, or wanted to invest the time in doing that. So check out the Q&A section. Again, how I got here was under the More button. You can click Answers, or you can come up to the drop-down menu and also select Answers and go to Advanced Search. Take your time. Learn about answers. Ask a question. Another great way to pull people to you. Look at examples so that you don't kind of put something out there that doesn't follow the flow. They'll give you good examples, bad examples. Um, check it out. Q&A is just a, a great place to go to um, establish yourself as a brand expert and answer questions that are relevant to your field. This is Shelley Roth with Springboard. I hope that you learned something today. Check us out at ShellyRoth.com or stop by the fan page. Have a great week.